What's up, YouTube? It's Sean Calpelagra. It's album review. This time, the 2010 following death records were released with Century Media of Tripticon, the Shatter EP, a spare today on the own the company. Um, this EP is five tracks long, features uh, three tracks that are taken from the Asperto Demo sessions, and two live tracks of Celtic Frost Classics redone in a Tripticon manner. I'm going to start off with the guitar for the. I'm going to do the uh, break it up by the EP tracks from the Asperto Demo sessions, and then the live tracks. So the guitar for the. The Spirit of Day Unknown's recorded sessions are, uh, once again, it's just like the Tripticon album, it's heavy, it's crushing, it's low, it's just heavy in one word. Um, there's a lot of uh, chugging riffs that are just crushing as hell. Like the song I Am The Twilight is probably the heaviest has to be the heaviest song on this album. It is a very good song, um, and the guitar tone in that is just heavy as hell. So very simplistic riffs on Shatter, nothing on Crucifixus, um, just some very simplistic but heavy riffs. Bass-wise, just like on the Tripticon album, heavily distorted at times, but still has a good clean tone to it. It's audible, it's not overpowering. It's uh, very skillfully played, very awesome stuff. Um, drum wise, very intricate drumming. Um, their drummer, I thought to be, I still think to be, is one of the best uh, drummers in this style, if not the best. Um, I find him to be better. Than the guy that was in Celtic Frost, who happens to be the part of the reason why Tom left Celtic Frost. Uh, this man is just a very good, very skillful player. He's got very intricate fills, some very interesting uh, drum beats that you don't catch immediately, but when you do, it's really awesome. Vocal wise, um, Tom Gabriel Warrior, Tom Gabriel Fisher, whatever you want to call him. Um, he has that, sing still has that signature, um, raspy shout sort of thing where it just sounds unbelievably powerful, like the voice of God is just, like, casting down upon you. Um, but he has some very eerie whispers in, uh, spoken parts on the song Shatter. And it even features, um, uh, some female vocals done by studio vocalists that, um, was featured on Monotheus and also on Asperger's Day of Moans on the songs uh, My Optic Empire and My Pain. Um, she pretty much is the main focus of the song Shatter and she's got an amazing voice that's incredibly haunting both lyrically and vocally and musically. Um, then we got the song Crucifixes which is in a area all its own. It's not the typical Tripticon heaviness. In fact, there's no metal to it at all. It's pretty much just synth. It's pure synth creating a very eerie, evil atmosphere. This was the first song Tripticon ever released, actually, on their MySpace, and this is a remixed and remastered version of it. It's creepy as hell, I gotta say that. But now for the live tracks, I'm not going to break it up by instrument. Very well recorded, very well performed of Celtic Frost Classics of Circle of the Tyrants and the Throne Emperor with Nocturnal Culto on vocals. And uh, Circle of the Tyrants, they slowed down a little bit compared to the original. It's still very heavy. It's still got that classic feel that it did, but they just made it Trypticon and not Celtic Frost. They left the Celtic Frost version alone, which makes me very happy that they left the classic as a classic. Now, for the song The Throne the Emperor featuring that Colonel Calto on Cobra, I didn't know what to expect because The Throne Emperor happens to be one of my favorite Celtic Frost songs of all time. Um, 
I was really hoping for a classic Nocturnal Culto sound on the vocals of this more black metal brass, but sadly it was done in the newer Dark Throne, like off Circle the Wagons style of singing. Nothing bad, but it was kind of disappointing, but it, you weren't coming in expecting much. You'd be pleasantly surprised. This EP is very good. Um, if I had to give it a score, it's definitely not... It matches a Spirits of Damn Moans, but it's not a 10. I'm going to end up giving this uh, a good 8.5 out of 10, simply because it just leaves you wanting more. And... I mean, I already have everything by Trypticon now that I got this, but it still leaves you wanting more. There's just something about this band that makes you want more and more heaviness. So I'm giving this an 8.5 out of 10. You can get this fairly easily. It's on vinyl. There's the CD version. There's a digital download. There's even a 10-inch mini LP of this. It's exclusive to a nuclear blast mail order. I'm going to get 333 copies on a gray splatter disc. I would like to pick that up, but for now I'm happy with this. Definitely check this out. This is an 8.5 out of 10. Do yourself a favor. Check this out if you already haven't checked out Trip.